If you stream on Kick and you're just as lazy as I am, then you're gonna wanna get your hands on a chatbot. Basically, what it'll do is help spice up your stream and interact with your chat, as well as help moderate any naughty words. But basically, it's gonna add an extra layer of fun and interactivity to your stream. So if setting one up sounds like a good idea to you, then drop a quick like on the video so other streamers can find this video. And then let's make like hockey sticks and get the puck out of here. So the first thing we'll need is obviously a Kick account because we need to link the chatbot to our Kick account in order to access our chat and actually utilize it, duh. So I'll be using my second account here, which we have 12 followers. I don't know why you guys keep following this account. This is not my main account. Go follow CPaws Music on Kick. We're over here. We stream every Monday, so go there instead. Bunch of weirdos. But anyways, in order to get the chat bot, we'll be using a free tool called Botrix, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. And you might be wondering, well, where the heck is the login with Kick option? Well, unfortunately, we need to sign in with one of these options first in order to get access to the Kick option because the Kick API and a bunch of jargon that you're not going to understand and isn't available yet. So I recommend logging in with YouTube or Twitch. They're both free accounts if you don't have one already. So log in with one of those and I'll see you on the other side. And while you're logging into Botrix, if you guys want to take your stream to the next level, then you got to check out today's sponsor, Own.TV. Own.TV is my favorite place to get all of my stream design little elements for my live streams, including their stream design bestseller packages, which I can use for Kick, Twitch, YouTube, literally whatever the heck I want. So I'll just click on a package that I like, like the Dark Mode series, and you can see the animated preview here. And it comes with animated starting soon, pause, ending, an offline banner. You got animated alerts, animated webcam overlays, panels for your stream, literally everything you could friggin' ask for all in one nice cohesive package. So if you want to save 50% off, you can use coupon code CPAUSE, which I'll leave linked in the description down below once again for you guys. But now you should probably be logged into Botrix, and if you're not, well, hurry the heck up, because we ain't got time for that. So let's go over to Botrix. So once you've logged into Botrix with your Twitch or YouTube or whatever the heck you want, you should be brought to the profile page here. And if you have not been brought here, you can look on the left hand side and click on the profile tab on the left hand side here. And then you'll notice that we have all of these different platforms that weren't available on that first page, including Kick. So now that we've gotten to this profile tab here, we can actually click sign in with Kick. So we're gonna click on that button and we're gonna type in our username. So I'm gonna type in my second account, which is this one right here. However, if you have a space in your name and you try and put a space and then hit accept, it's gonna yell at you because your username cannot contain spaces. So you say, okay, that's fine. And instead of doing a space, you should use an underscore, or you might be able to use a dash. Honestly, I always forget which, but I'd recommend doing the underscore first and keep an eye on the pinned comment down below in case you're running into any problems. Also, this is a perfect time to mention that obviously the Botrix moderators and developers are much more suited to answering any problems or questions that you guys might have. So click this little need help button and then you'll join their discord where you can ask the actual developers and mods different questions or problems you might have instead of asking me in the comments because they already have all the answers that you need. So once you put in your username here with no spaces, then you're going to hit accept. Next, it's gonna ask us to please give the moderator role to Botrix to continue. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm just gonna hold control C or you can right click and hit copy if you're a weirdo and then you can hit continue. And it's gonna bring up your Kick Moderators page. I've already done it before, so if you haven't, then it should look like this. So you can simply just go to the Add New button in the top right corner. You can click Control V, or you can paste it in there. You'll do the one with the little verification badge. You don't wanna pick any of these other scam ones because I don't know why they would want to even have mod for your channel, but I digress, it doesn't matter. So go click the green little verification button there and then hit Add and you will successfully add Botrix as a moderator to your stream. And if for whatever reason this isn't working for you, you can hit go back to kick in the bottom left corner and then go to your channel in the top right and then go to your kick chat, which should pop up in just a second. We'll go to chat, this little tab there. And then all you have to do is hit slash mod and then space and then post in Botrix and hit chat. And then it will send the message here and it will automatically moderate Botrix. However, I've already modded Botrix before, so unfortunately this is not gonna work, but it would work if it wasn't already modded. So this step trips a lot of people up, so please pay attention and don't jump ahead. What you'll do is first highlight this little command here, so it's gonna be exclamation point link. For whatever reason, it's not letting me copy, which is extremely annoying, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trick it. I'm gonna click and hold and drag, and I'm not gonna let go of my mouse. And then I'm gonna hit Control C. So that way it should copy it. And as soon as I let go, obviously it doesn't. So hopefully that did actually copy it. And if it didn't, well, we're gonna have to go and type that in manually, which sucks. But instead of hitting finish here, 
we're actually going to click on this link at the top where it says kick.com forward slash forward slash I can't talk botrix. So if you did accidentally click finish, well, all you have to do is just go to kick.com forward slash botrix and you'll be able to paste it in there. So it's not a big deal either way. So go to this little link here, whether you click on it or you typed it in because you skipped ahead when I asked you not to. Are you guilty? So now that we're in botrix's chat, we're simply going to go and paste that in. Oh, it ended up working. Sick. So we pasted that in. It's exclamation point link with the number. Uh, specifically designed for your channel. So if you copy this, it ain't gonna work for you because this one is my number and not yours, so get your own. And then you can hit the chat button or you can simply just hit enter to send the message. I'm gonna send it from our account. So see pause, my second account, link, give it a second. And now it says your account has been successfully linked. So everything is good to go in terms of linking our kick account to Botrix. So now we can go back to Botrix and actually set up that chat bot. So now that we're back here, we can simply hit the finish button. And now we have our kick account successfully linked to Botrix. Nice. So if you guys have made it this far, high five, give yourselves a pat on the back because I know a lot of people end up messing that part up and it seems pretty self-explanatory, but I digress. I think I've said that twice now. I got to pick a different word. I'm not even sure if I'm using it correctly. Anyways, now we can go to the left hand side. Psych, actually, we have to click this green settings button right next to kick, because if you notice in the top left corner, it says platform is Twitch. That means any settings that you change here on the side will be associated with Twitch. And we don't want that. So we're actually going to go to the kick and hit the green settings button. So click that. And it then changes our platform to kick in the top left, which means if we change our alerts, widget, chatbot, whatever, all of that will be associated with our kick platform. So the more you know. So now that we have kick as our platform, we can simply go to the chatbot option on the top left. And then now we're going to want to make sure that this chatbot is enabled. So turn that bad boy on. And then obviously we modded Botrix already, so that's good too. So the chatbot is now on, and this is where we can go and individually tweak with all the different settings and modules and stuff. So if you wanted to briefly look over this and see if any of these things interest you, you can. Like you can have protection against offensive words. So basically if you click set up, which is conveniently hidden behind my webcam, you click set up, then you'll be able to type in manually a bunch of words that you don't want to have in your stream. So that way it'll automatically delete those words from people that post them just to protect yourself. I've also found that to be really useful for all these like spam bots coming in trying to advertise like a product. So you can just put that product's name in and then anytime they go to send that message, it'll automatically get cleared by the bot. So haha, -ha, spammers. So you can use symbol protection, emote protection, link protection. Honestly, I would probably turn both of these off. You can turn link protection on because it'll delete the messages that contain links. So it could be a bad link. Or if you find you're just like manually deleting stuff, you can turn it off. This is all basically personal preference. So it's going to be up to you. But when you do make your choices on what you want on and off, you'll hit the confirm button down here and that will save your changes after you hit yes. So I've saved my changes there, but we have a couple more tabs here. So we can go to the commands tab and basically this will be a way for your viewers to type something in the chat and the bot will respond with something that you decide to set it as. So for example, I've already made one that says exclamation point Twitter. So if anyone in my kick chat types exclamation point Twitter, it will respond with my Twitter link. So in order to do this, you'll simply hit this little blue add button here. So click add and then you'll go to command and you're going to type in exclamation point, whatever you want. I'm going to do Instagram or you could just do Insta. And then you'll go for your message. You'll type in whatever your profile is or whatever you want it to respond with. So I'm going to go to my Instagram page and copy the link, which, by the way, I just started a brand new Instagram page. So if you see someone with like 50 followers, yes, that's me. I've been posting a bunch of different streaming tips and other related content. So if you either want to see pretty pictures of me or if you want to learn more about streaming or little helpful tips, then go drop me a follow on Instagram. See pause music. So you could type in a message like, please drop a follow or something cringy like that. Or you could just simply post the link. It doesn't really matter. And then for this part for platform, since Botrix is a multi-platform like tool, like under the profile, you could link your Twitch, you could link your YouTube. You can set it to also post in your other chats, but that's on multi-streaming, which I have other videos on. So don't worry about that for now. Basically, you can just leave them all selected, or if you just want to have it for kick, you could just have it for kick. But if you have these selected and you don't have anything connected, then it's really not going to matter anyways, because you have to set the bot up and link it to those accounts, which we did earlier for kick. So if you didn't do that, don't worry about it. But for peace of mind, you could theoretically just do this and you'll only have it for kick. For the cooldown, it will basically be how often people can trigger it. 
The lowest is three seconds. So if someone types it within three seconds twice, it's only gonna post once. So that's all you really gotta worry about there. You can also use an alias. So if you want it to trigger by another thing, so like, let's say we wanna do exclamation point Insta would also trigger Instagram. So if they type exclamation point Insta, it'll trigger this. If they type exclamation point Instagram, it'll also trigger that. So for this example, I feel like that's pretty good. And as for the price and the range, honestly, don't worry about these two. These have to deal with the different loyalty points, which I have a video on in the top right corner. So if you wanna mess with that, you can, but for this video, don't need to worry about that. So we'll simply hit the confirm button. And now we have our Instagram command. So let's head over to kick and test this bad boy out. So first I'm gonna try exclamation point Instagram, and then I'm gonna try exclamation point Insta. So I'm gonna send exclamation point Instagram. And as you can see, the bot tricks bot automatically responded with that link so they can feel free to click it and be brought to wherever you want them to be brought to. Or it'll just respond with a funny message depending on what you wanna use the command for. So now that it's been over three seconds, I'm gonna type exclamation point Insta because we have the three second cooldown, remember? So I'm gonna send that and let's see if it triggers. So yes, it also triggered there. So we have our main one and we have our alias. That way it'll just be more convenient for you. So let's head over back to Botrix. If you notice they have some on by default. So if you click next to my commands to defaults, then you can see there's a few here. Uh, some of these have to deal with like the loyalty system and points and stuff, so I wouldn't worry about it. So if you want and you're not using those, you could simply click on these little state buttons. Just kidding, you click on the pencil icon. Like let's say we don't wanna use the level, I guess, or points. You can just click on the marker next to it and then you can do activated, turn that off and then hit confirm and then that way it'll be disabled. So you can turn any of these on or off depending on your preferences, but they also have like uptime. This stream started X amount of time ago, which is automatically on. So if you were streaming and you typed in exclamation point uptime, it'll respond with how long you've been streaming for. Those are just on by default. You can feel free to turn those on or off to your choice. But the next tab is the timers feature, which I would argue is probably the most useful personally for me. And it's basically just a command, except no one needs to trigger it because it's just put on a timer. So it will automatically post a message of your choosing on a timer. So like every 30 minutes, every 15 minutes, every 10 minutes, etc. So if we wanted to set one up, we could also click plus add. And then for the message, let's say, drop me a follow on Instagram if you want to keep up. And then we can send the interval. So if we want it to post every five minutes, we could, but that's a little obnoxious. I'd recommend maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes, probably. Let's go with 20 minutes, so it'll post every 20 minutes. But let's say you have like a dead chat and nobody's talking. So it'd be pretty obnoxious if it was kind of like Botrix just posting this every 20 minutes and it would be super depressing because it would just be, drop me a follow on Instagram if you wanna keep up like seven times in your three hour stream. I don't know if the math adds up on that, but whatever. So in order to stop that from happening, that's where the lines feature comes in. So if you wanna drag this up to let's say 10 lines, then this message will only be triggered if it's been 20 minutes since it last posted and there's been at least 10 lines of chat. So at least 10 people or 10 you know messages have been sent in between the last time it posted. So that way it doesn't spam your chat, making you look like a total loser, which I have a ton of experience with. And then in terms of the platforms, you can feel free to turn these off if you want. It's the same sort of deal I mentioned earlier. So set up everything that you want to here and then simply hit confirm and you'll have your timer set up. So now every 20 minutes and every 10 lines of chat, if it's been both, if both of those requirements have been met, then it will post this message. So now this brings us to our additional features tab, and this is where you can set up a bunch of stuff. So you have chat alerts, where it'll send a message in chat every time an interaction occurs, such as a welcome or follow. So if you want, you can turn this on and click set up. And then basically anytime you get a follow, it will say thank you for the kick follow, and it'll put their name. You can obviously customize these if you want. So I'll leave that up to you, but pretty self-explanatory there. So hit confirm. If you wanna leave them on, hit yes. And then if you want, obviously turn them off, so on and so forth. For the voice messages, I do believe you'll need to be using a Google Chrome browser like I'm using now in order to see this. So if you wanna turn that on and hit set up, yes, you'll need to have the Botrix Google Chrome extension on your device. So you'll click yes. It will bring you to the Chrome store 
and you'll be able to add the Botrix like extension into Google Chrome. And that way you'll be able to take advantage of the voice messages or text to speech. So if you want to, you can feel free to do that. Just remember, you'll probably need to use Google Chrome in order to use that because you have a Google Chrome extension. Makes sense, right? And then behind my webcam, we now have a clip command, which I don't think was there the last time I made this video. So you'll also need the Botrix extension too, which I'm assuming will just allow users to create clips for your stream. So if you want to set that up, you can feel free to. You can do a leveling system, so you can turn that on and basically give them levels for typing in chat by how active they are. You get system of points, rankings, and all that sort of stuff. So you can change all the additional features here to your little heart's desires. And then once you have everything set up, you can simply hit the confirm button at the bottom, hit yes to save your changes, and now you are rocking in style with a cool looking kick chatbot for your stream. So if this video helped you, drop a like on the video. Otherwise, continue watching my kick playlist to the side of me. And if you haven't even started yet, then what are you doing with your life? Watch that kick playlist. It's gonna show you everything you need to know about kick streaming. My name's Cody, and I will see you in the next one.